In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a launch email button with inside of a Canvas Power App that when you click it, it's automatically then going to open up an email inside the client's application choice uh, of that particular user to show an email that will pull through things like uh, an email to, a CC, a BCC, the subject, as well as the body of the email as well. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate into a blank canvas app. Now you might want to add this into your existing power app, but I'm just going to start from scratch. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert button and I'm going to drag it into the middle of the page to make it easier, make it a bit larger so it's easier to see. Double clicking into it just so I can select the text. I'm just going to put in here, launch email. Now the first property I'm going to update here is the on select property. Now, this means that when I click it, it's going to do something because it's on select, it's going to do something. So the first thing I want it to do is to launch. So you can see when I type in launch, um, I can use the tab button to then automatically snap it to here and it's going to give me my first open brackets. Now across the top, it'll tell me uh, what it's expecting. So the first thing it's expecting is an email address. And now the email just needs to be formatted as text. So I'm just going to put some speech marks around this and then I'm going to type into it mail to like this. And now this is expecting the email address that is going to be sent to. So I'm just going to put in my email address into here. Now, the next thing is you can see is it wants me to put in a comma to separate the address um, from the rest of the parameters. Now the parameters um, are essentially things like the subject line, um, the CC or the body of email. So the first thing I'm going to specify is the subject. Now because this is parameters, um, I need to specify them with an open and close brackets like this, curly brackets. And I'm going to start off with the subject. So I'm going to type in subject like this, and again, because it, I want it to be text that I'm passing through, I'm just gonna put in, this is the subject of the email. Now, the only other thing I would need to specify is the body as well. So I'm just gonna put a comma, because I'm gonna separate this now. Um, so it's going to be a separate um, parameter, and I'm gonna specify the body now of the email. And again, this is gonna be text, um, so this is where I'm going to specify this is some text for the body of the email. Now, the very final thing I need to do, as you can see, is, is expecting a closing bracket here. And now that is the minimum I now need to do to actually make this button work. So if I click on play, click on launch email, that's then going to launch my email. You can see here it's sending me the email. It's got the subject line. It's got the text as well. Now we can go a step further than that and we can actually update um, these uh, parameters using uh, inputs from the app really simply, really easily. Now I can do this by clicking, for example, insert and then input, and then I'm going to use the text input box. And you can see here, um, I've got a text input box and by default, it's just called text input one. Now, I could change this and for naming conventions, I should update that. Uh, but just as it's a little test, I'm going to show you what this we can do. So let's say, for example, I'm wanting to replace this subject line now with the text input. So I'm going to remove this text and I'm going to instead replace it with text input. As soon as I see it appear in the drop down, I'm going to select it. But also remember, I need to click on the full stop to get the, the um, details. And I'm going to click on text. So, so now I include the text input. So now if I click on play, and type into here, say ABC, and click on launch email. You then see the subject line of this is ABC. Now that can be used um, anywhere else inside of here. So we could use that inside of the body uh, of the, the email um, or, or anywhere else. Now, if we were going to use this as a combination, you'd have to remember that we wanted to, say for example, if I was going to put this ABC after, um, this initial text, type in text input dot text. Um, and now it will also add the ABC after 
uh, this text here inside the body of the email. But you can see I have to combine it using uh, this uh, additional and symbol. So if I click on play, now I click on launch email, you'll see it's now got this is some text and it's got the value that's inside this box added onto the end of it. Now there are other parameters as well that you might want to choose to add. So say for example, if you wanted to add a uh, CC or a BCC into this, it's really simple to do. All we need to do is um, add another comma and we'll specify the CC. And in this case, I'm just gonna put uh, my personal email address in there. And then again, click on play click on launch email and now you can see the CC is also including uh, in here. Now that works exactly the same as well for the BCC um, and that's another way that we can update the parameters of our email. Now this is just one way that we can send emails. We can also use the Outlook connectors inside of here to issue uh, emails. Um, but it's, it's a really quick, really simple way of launching an email in the client's application of the chosen user's um, email choice of application. Um, I'm also going to include the code for this in the uh, article that we're writing for this, as well as the description in the YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you need help, we do offer professional services, including bespoke development, training packages, and pay-as-you-go support that can bridge those knowledge gaps within your current team. You can email me at dougie at valto.co.uk and we also offer free consultations to discuss your specific requirements. We'll then give you a no obligation quote. If that sounds good, I hope to hear from you soon.